Hey guys, John here with Bill and Seafood Guys. Welcome back to Seafood Q&A. This is where we answer your guys' questions. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way you'll get updates of all of our new videos coming out. It could be Seafood Q&A, that could be recipes, that could be all sorts of different things about seafood and seafood education. So we're gonna get going and see what we got. Okay, Justin was wondering why king salmon is available year-round, but the others have such short windows. Okay, yeah, this is a great question. So uh, there's a lot of cool material out there that breaks down the, uh, the seasons of seafood. And one of the really interesting ones for wild seafood is the different seasons of salmon. So as many people know, wild-caught salmon, you know, especially like where we kind of specialize up in Alaska, um, it's obviously very seasonal and that's why sometimes the salmon can be hard to get so when you look at these charts it always shows that king salmon is the one salmon that's available year-round and that's what it shows it shows it's available year-round so let me break this down for you guys um yes and no so it, it's skewed you know like like most salmon you know uh the the seasons for king salmon which is one of the salmons that gets going a little bit earlier um, let's say, you know, really things getting going um, early seasons in May um, and then, you know, really getting going in June. So that's when you're going to see more of the volumes of king salmon coming out. Um, that's when uh, there's going to be more fresh stuff available. You'll start seeing frozen stuff show up. Um, and that's when the majority of the salmon is available. So for market wise, that's usually when you're going to see the better value um, or the better prices on king salmon at your supermarkets or at your seafood provider. Um, a couple things going in with that. Um, that is also going to depend on really just the management and how much king salmon is available. That's going to affect prices as well. So being available year round, there are some seasons, winter seasons for king salmon. So king salmon are out there, they're in the oceans. Um, up in Alaska and some of you guys might have heard the term of a winter king so there are actually seasons where uh, in the winter time up in Alaska where guys are commercial fishing for these a lot of times it's gonna be hand trollers um, it, it's just you know growing up in Alaska when I was around that stuff it was never um, a super big fishery there wasn't it kind of depended year to year sometimes there were winters where guys were going out and just hammering them. There were other years where guys couldn't even find them. So a lot of times, those winter kings are kind of perceived as more valuable. Um, people kind of think of the winter, of colder water, they think of just a, a richer tasting king salmon. Um, I think, yeah, that could, there's things that go into that, but uh, it's perceived, that winter king is perceived as a more valuable, better tasting salmon. So a lot of times in the winter time, you know, a lot of that king salmon is going to be flown down fresh just because the supply of king salmon isn't that high during that time of the year. So usually that king salmon is much more valuable. So that might be something you guys might see as a consumer. Um, if you do see uh, king salmon and uh, like fresh king salmon at a market, or if you see, you know, like a special on king salmon at a restaurant in the middle of winter that was just flown in, you're probably gonna be paying high top dollar for that stuff. So yes, there are some other seasons in the winter time that uh, king salmon are harvested that kind of put it on those charts as available year round. But just remember, the majority of king salmon is gonna be in the late spring through the summer. That's when you guys are gonna get your best value as a consumer. So Seafood Q&A, thank you guys. Please subscribe to the Bill and Seafood Guys YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're going to get you updates of all of our new content that's going to be Q&A, that's going to be recipes, that's going to be videos, all sorts of great stuff about seafood. And any other questions for next week's Q&A, comment below. We'll give you guys a shout out and get your questions answered. Thank you.